Okay, so after uh, rebooting the Raspberry Pi, uh, you're back inside of the public user account. Now, what you can do, of course, is you can skip this step entirely, and every time the uh, Raspberry Pi boots up, what you can do is uh, double click the icon and uh, PLEAP launches. Now, this is, of course, a really stupid thing because you'd have to have someone that runs through the entire freaking library uh, enabling the software for you. What I'll do is I'll just close this and I'll provide my master password, which is test, close the program, who's I? Now, in real life, the program is much more responsive than on the screen because that's of the VNCA server, but you, I hope you understand this by now. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to our file manager. And uh, some of you might remember it, some of you might not. There has been created a, a terminal icon inside my tools folder. Now it's not really an icon, it's an entire script behind it. That script calls upon another script that edits a uh, configuration file of the Raspberry Pi. Now, to access that script, what we'll do is we'll go to... Uh, I'll redo this. What you'll do is you will open up the file explorer. You go to the parent folder. You go to Pi, because that's where the script is documents plib back in tools and here you have it it's autorun.generator click it once not twice don't double click it don't run it don't do anything with it if it's selected press enter and nothing will happen on your screen but it has created an autorun entry now this autorun entry is embedded in one of my file well one of my configuration files and you can access this file as well what you will do and you don't have to do this you can just quit the video here your auto run entry has been created so there's nothing to worry about if you're just curious to how this works follow along you type in forward slash you type in dot and you type in config this will open up a hidden folder in this folder there's another folder called lx session open it there's only one folder in here, LXDE Pi. Open it, and there's an auto start file in here as well. Open that. And now on the very first line, it has created an auto start entry. Here are my system variables. It's a Python file, so I want to run this in Python script. And then here is the address of that file. Don't edit it, don't do anything with it if you don't know what you're doing. This is just for the people that are curious. And now every time I will reboot, I would reboot this device, it will automatically launch my uh, PDEP software. And that's it. Now you have configured the first node. It can go out inside the library and you have to repeat the f uh, system file expansion process, the device.ini configurator and this auto run creator. It's like 10 minutes work at most for every uh, node, so you're done. I hope everything was clear, some of the videos were a little bit chaotic, um, but trust me, the people that tested it, they had it worse, they didn't have the videos. So uh, yeah, let me know if everything went well, I'm kind of curious to see what libraries plan on using this system. Thank you very much for watching and enduring everything, bye.